the difference between a turbocharger and a supercharger? If you have that question, then this video is definitely for you because it's next on Loving Cars. Good day, my name is Edwin and this is Loving Cars. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you hit the subscribe button uh, down below because subscribing to this channel does not cost you a single thing. Today we're talking about the difference between the turbocharger and a supercharger. What's the difference between the two and why do manufacturers keep on making engines and cars with turbochargers? Well, the reason why car manufacturers are keeping on making turbochargers and superchargers in their engine is because of the fuel emission and the uh, emission restriction that is happening globally where countries are forcing car manufacturers to produce cars that it means very few or less carbon in the atmosphere trying to create what we call a, a green or less damaging carbon emission vehicles however car motorists or people who actually drive cars the consumer still would like to drive cars that are more punchier and still producing the same amount of, of of power so how do you do that how do you produce a car that still has a an equal amount of power but with a smaller engine because remember the bigger the engine the higher the consumption and the more carbon the fuel will actually produce in the tailpipe so car manufacturers downsize the engine therefore after downsizing the engine they the the engine power uh, power output would actually decrease so in order to counteract that they put in turbochargers and superchargers and those are different although their functions is actually similar so let's get down to business what is a turbocharger and what is a supercharger well, a turbocharger is a turbine that is actually driven by the engine's exhaust system that forces air into the engine's combustion chamber. In other words, a turbocharger uses the engine's exhaust gas to spin the turbine, which then the turbine sucks air full of oxygen and slams it and forces it inside the air, the cylinders or the engine's combustion chamber. Therefore, providing more oxygen and therefore more oxygen means more explosion of the of the fuel that is actually being sprayed by this um by the fuel injectors and the spark plug would ignite that fuel and driving the crankshaft uh, and the piston way much faster than it actually would in a, a normal aspirated engine that only sucks air through uh, the air intake so a turbocharger forces air inside the combustion chamber um, which is which the air is brought in by the turbine that is spent uh, is spanned by the exhaust gas coming from the engine and that actually provides power and more power to the car however it gives you what we call a turbo lag because a turbo lag is when you hit the accelerator and there's a few seconds delay before you start feeling the car acceleration before you start feeling the torque and the speed actual spinning of the vehicle uh, wheels on the tarmac that's what we call a turbo lag so what is a supercharger a supercharger functions almost the same as a turbocharger but the difference is a supercharger is actually always spinning and it's linked and driven by the engine itself which is driven by the belt or the camshaft or the chain it depends on the manufacturer on how you want a supercharger to actually work Superchargers are mostly found in American-made vehicles because Americans love muscle cars. So superchargers are always linked to the engine and they're driven by the engine belt instead of uh, the engine exhaust system. And therefore, they provide the same amount of air full of ox oxygen slamming them inside the, the combustion chamber. However, they don't have what we call a turbo lag. The downsides of having a supercharger instead of a turbocharger is that it's always active and because it's always active, it draws uh, an amount of energy from the engine. Therefore, you burn more fuel in, in, instead of burning less compared to a car that is actually using a turbocharger. But a supercharger is more easier to replace and to install in an engine than a turbocharger because a turbocharger most of the time must be placed in, a, in an area where it will be sucking in the engine's exhaust system or the exhaust gas for it to spin the turbine and it's mostly a bit more expensive to install and to fix if it breaks compared to a supercharger. So if you're driving a car that has a turbocharger, make sure that if you have been speeding 
you don't just turn on turn off the engine when you stop let it idle a little bit so that the oil itself continues circulating in the turbocharger and cools it down because it it, it operates in higher temperatures ladies and gentlemen that's exactly what i had for you on loving cars my name is Erwin. bye bye have a great day see you next time